Hello and welcome to another one of Stu's Vegan Noms and I've got my daughter Savannah here with me today as well Hello. and we're going to make no bake, no bake oats flapjacks. Um, great for runners, great for just having a little bit of a sweet treat, um, loaded with energy. Three ingredients, super easy to make and they're very tasty and Savannah loves them, don't you? So, very simple, we've got rolled oats and we've got three and a half cups of rolled oats we've got one cup of smooth um peanut butter and we've got one cup of agave nectar and that is it now it's dead simple you're just going to put the um the peanut butter and the agave nectar it's a bit like maple syrup you can use maple syrup as well um what was I going to say then? I've lost what I was going to say. Yeah, you can use that or agave nectar, they both work fine. You're going to put the peanut butter and the agave nectar in a pan and warm it up so it all melts um, together. You're then going to chuck the oats in, mix them all so it's a complete combined mixture. You're then going to stick it into a lined parchment lined tray and then stick it in the fridge for two to three hours and cut it into bars. So I'm going to stop the video now, um, pour the stuff in, warm it up and I'll show you what happens then. So yeah, as you can see, the peanut butter and the agave is in together and you basically just keep mixing that around on a low heat until the peanut butter completely melts down and you've got like a sticky paste. Once you've got that, um, you'll then start pouring the oats in. Now, as you can see, Savannah, my little helper, is mixing the oats now into the melted peanut butter and as you can see it should be quite sticky and quite tough to to turn over and, and knead um, and that it should be sticking to the spoon and that's the exact consistency that you want so get right underneath it Savannah and turn it over make sure it's all mixed in properly you want all the oats completely covered in the um, hold the pan sweetie hold the pan hold the pan for me don't move the pan hold the pan so it doesn't move Hold the pan so it doesn't move, please. The pan, Savannah. The pan. Hold the pan. Thank you. It's moving. Right. Completely sticky, 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 sticky. Once you've done that, we're going to transfer it to a baking pan. Once you've mixed it all together, you then transfer it into um, a cake tin or a, basically a, any oven proof dish or glass thing that, that's happy in the refrigerator. Um, it's up to you how much you press it for thickness. I tend to go not really thick um, and just press it flat. Um, it will be quite warm to the touch for now. Um, I tend to use lined parchment paper inside the cake tin so it's easier to remove afterwards. You can sprinkle coconut over it, you could put raisins into it, there's a few different things. You could even put um, cocoa powder into it if you want a bit of a chocolatey taste and you could even top it with melted chocolate as well after this is refrigerated if that's what you wanted to do. So I'm going to stick it in the fridge and I'll come back to you in a bit. I've just got these no bake three ingredient um, oaty flapjacks out of the freezer. I put them in the freezer instead of the fridge as I said in the earlier video, uh, a bit just before this actually, same video. Um, you can put them in the fridge. I put them in the freezer for about 45 minutes. Um, it sets them just a bit quicker because the kids are impatient and they come out in one sort of solid thing and then you cut them into bars. Um, I've just cut myself a little piece there but as you can see if you cut them into nice little chunky bars that's kind of how they come out like that and these aren't baked they're not cooked you just melt the peanut butter with the i gave as i said then roll the oats in as i showed you um pat them all down into a baking tin um as thick as you want that's the thickness i've done them now what you can do now is top them with chocolate or um coconut sprinkles or something like that you could even put raisins in the mixture as well and set them with raisins in them or mixed fruit or even nuts if you like nuts or seeds 
loads of things to do with them. Um, I've done dead basic today and I actually like the simplicity of these. Loaded with energy, super, super tasty. Um, I'm just about to give this a go now. Oh, look how chewy they are and sweet and, oh. Great for, um, if you stick them in a bag for like runs and stuff for energy, you could even make them into balls, I suppose, with a mixture, balls. And freeze them rather than do it in like a flapjack tray like that. Um, but yeah, man, they're really, really nice. Loads of ways to do them, as I've said. Give them a try. <coughs> Excuse me. And let me know where you get them.